Irving High School, Irving, Texas. What do you think? A bunch of country folk? Or just small town rednecks all the same? Well, Irving High School is a perfect example as to why these may not necessarily be true. In the halls of this school, there are many different students, all with different backgrounds. Hello, my name is Kim Tran. My name is Daniel Morgan. My name is Sarah Ali Dunlu. My name is Nicholas Wenjohi. Brianna Parr. Ludwig Bynas. My name is John O. My name is Manal Yao. My name is Mr. Soriano. Okay, my name is Siva Perianen. I'm Tobias Carvajal. My name is Alec Gabriel Caro. I'm from Dallas, Texas. I was born in Houston, Texas. I was born here in Texas. I'm from Kenya, Africa. Irving, Texas. Tholin in Germany. I'm from Dallas, Texas. I'm from Palestine, which is in the Middle East. I'm originally from Mexico. Um, I'm from India. I am from Mendoza, Argentina. I was born in Irving, right at the Baylor Medical Hospital. My name is Nathan James Knight. I'm from Bedford, Texas. I am Vietnamese, Chinese, and Hispanic. Uh, I am Dutch American. Um, Mexican and Middle Eastern. I'm African. Uh, white, black, and Hispanic. Well, it is German. I'm Korean American. I am half Arab, half white. I'm Hispanic. I'm Indian. Argentine. I am Mexican. Um, my mom is Indian, like from India. But my dad is white, like Caucasian from Germany and England, Scottish stuff. We can see that the majority of the second generation, the students, are found to have been born in the United States, while the latter, teachers, are from foreign countries. Though this does have an impact on the cultural influence of the younger generation, the ethnicity remains as it is, creating an environment of both similar and different cultures, allowing different ethnicities to bond. It is diverse. It's, um, there are a lot of different types of people here. We have the stereotypical uh, caste system to an extent. Uh, so there's like the jocks, we've got um, popular girls, we have the white girls, we have um, racial groups, um, and then we have just kind of people who are just thrown into the mix and kind of make their own categories. So there is a lot of uh, difference here, there's a lot of diversity. Yes, I would say Irving is diverse. We have a lot of uh, students from various backgrounds, um, although there is a clear majority. In some ways, like, they look diverse, like there's a bunch of different races, but a lot of people kind of act the same. I say Irving isn't really that diverse, because everyone is mostly Hispanic. I don't think very is the right word. I think it's somewhat diverse. I think it's diverse as far as learning styles and maybe educational backgrounds, but as far as, um, as, far as being a, a school that is diverse from different countries, I, don't, I think we can be more diverse. Yeah, sure, because we, I, every year I see kids that are from different places and every year it changes and the more we go further I start seeing like kids from different countries that I've barely heard of. Now I get to see a person from there. So. Yeah, it's very diverse. You know, there's a lot of Mexicans, you know. You know, you think of a school, like, mostly Latinos, you think, okay. So, it's, there's mostly Latinos and, like, no white people, no black people. No, there's, there's a good amount of white people, a good amount of black people, and a good amount of Asians. It's kind of weird how many Asians I know. When taking it into perspective, diversity may not necessarily refer to culture alone. Diversity was up to the interviewee's definition, giving an insight into what they thought about the social diversity along with the cultural. Yeah, like based on the GT group, they do. Yeah, I would say um, different people here get along. Um, 
but one of like the main things is people have to understand each other's differences, otherwise you can't get along with each other. I would say yes, most of the time. Um, like, we like to go to football games and uh, cheer with each other together, not like separate or, you know, like, uh, like when we do shows and theater, we usually work together, so it's kind of, yeah. It's been my experience that for the most part, people do get along, and but when they don't, they usually solve their problems before the day's over or within two days. Sure, that's, that's something that as teachers we want kids to be doing, like knowing each other, learning each other's culture, and mm -hmm. like get along with people. This is the most needed skill, it's the survival skill. So. Yeah, everybody, I mean, when there's beef, it's not even like between like different races. Like any type of beef I've noticed, like usually like Latino, Latino, or something like that, you know, it's never like oh, I'm black, you're Mexican, we're going to fight. It's like, it depends on the person. No. Like, there's always a lot of fights over here. Yep. Not just same race, but different race too. Like, no one likes each other in our school. It's important to remember that, though these questions are purely subjective, factually Irving is technically diverse. Though based on the answers received in the interviews, it is up to how one chooses to see their environment and who they surround themselves with that really makes up their mind about whether or not their school is diverse. Thank you for watching. I'm Tobias Carbohal and I leave you with the question, is your school diverse or not?